I feel as a survivor of 7-7 uh, and, and what I feel about the newspaper involvement, certain, certain companies, uh, has been an intrusion of my privacy right across the scale from what's legal to what's illegal. And I think it's highly unethical in both cases. The brief that Leveson was given to look at the culture was extremely important because it's that media cu culture, that corporate culture uh, for profit that drives all of these things. So what I'm looking to Leveson today for is a recognition of that brief that he had, and I'm sure he will. I am proposing independent regulation of the press organized by the press itself with a statutory process to support press freedom, provide stability and guarantee for the public that this new body is independent and effective. Any model with editors on the main board is simply not independent of the industry to anything approaching the degree required to warrant public confidence. The judge has been absolutely adamant that the press should not mark its own homework. Those are absolutely clear, laid down in concrete. What's not clear to me is the detail. How will these, t these two forms of regulation work beside each other? It's on the one hand independent, on the other hand it's self-regulation. Now, the, the, it's the mechanism of how those work together and the overflow from one to the other. If it's an independent um, um, body which only deals, let's say, with things which are illegal in the present law, it will not have done very much to change press, pr uh, press culture. Because invasion of privacy, as I've said all along, isn't just illegal. Some of it's been legal and some of the things I've faced, like the use of my face, without asking me, is legal. I would be disappointed if out of all this, there wasn't a change in press culture, corporate press culture mm -hmm. for profit. Of course it's going to go, go, be, go on for profit, that's what newspapers are about. Mm -hmm. But where it invades personal uh, uh, privacy, mm -hmm. then that has to change.